All right, first off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, the water Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us to do this spirit, giving us the spirit to do this video, the water Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth with worms. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone and say, take and blessings to the whole elect. We're just going to do a quick video, leaving work on the brother uh, Ariaf. Yeah, with the brother Maya. You got your seatbelt on. Yeah, this is going to be a lesson on uh, stay on course because as you can see, this world is, is, is going to shit. And as this world continues to go to shit, as it's circling the, circling the drain like George Collin coined it, as, as it continues to do that, Satan is going to come with more and more folly and bullshit to get you to, to, to not be on point. And you need to stay sharp and aware of your surroundings as we enter more and more into the time of Jacob's trouble and the time of, the, of great distress upon those that believe in Yahweh by Shemal Shai. So, we'll actually get Ephesians 6, start with Ephesians okay. 6 and verse 10. And then get 1 Peter 5 and 7. Because we're, in, we're, we're, gonna, we're entering the time where you're going to need spiritual help and how is that spiritual help going to be given by by the message that Yahweh by Shemal Shai has given us on this earth the ability to believe on them that and that's the biggest spiritual power we have at this moment is the faith in Yahweh by Shemal Shai and that's one of that's one of our major defenses against the devil against these niggas in the world against these people in general it's faith that Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is gonna is gonna deal and, and judge righteously with those that are trying to actually fight him and those that are not. So go ahead and start with us. Right. Verse 10. You said six and ten? Yep, Ephesians six and ten. Alright, this is Ephesians six and verse ten. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And the, and the power of the Lord's might is his word. Uh -huh. His gospel, this truth, because this is our at this moment, these are our weapons. We're not fighting no carnal battle. We don't got sticks at camp. You can, you can, hey, you can beat a nigga's ass, but that don't mean you won the war. This is this is a, a battle which must be fought spiritually. This is a spiritual spiritual battle battle, and the more we the more we enter into these great and treacherous times that we've never been through in our lives we're going to need heavy spiritual and uh what is it divine intervention to get through them keep going okay okay verse 11 it says put on the whole armor of, of god that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the, of the devil it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against power against the rulers of the darkness of the world against spiritual wickedness in high places and that's what that's what we're fighting against like it said in a previous verse says that we may that we may fight against the wilds of the devil those are the those are his devices the things that he comes with his his darts that he comes with rather it's a woman rather it's some bitch with a with a with a nigga trying to get at you Rather, it's your job to, to throw you off your your square. Hey, it's something in the world that these niggas use uh, the term. You gotta you gotta keep your masculine frame, man. Huh? You gotta keep your masculine frame, and how do you do that? Through this truth. Keep going. Okay. This is verse thirteen. It says, "Wherefore take unto unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand." Stand there before, uh, therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Yep. It says, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Keep going. Okay, it says, and your feet should with the uh, preparation of the gospel of peace. Yep. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yep, so it said above all taking the shield of faith because that is our biggest defense against everything 
even if your your armor gets gets fucked up and it's just in a in a battle sense if your armor gets fucked up say you your breastplate gets thrown off of you or whatever happens as long as you got that shield in your hand you could still defend yourself that's why that's why Paul said above all taking the, the shield of faith because that is our highest and most important defense the most important part of military strategy is your defense having a strong defense and then of course the offense but if somebody can't pierce you or harm you you're good and you just wait for the perfect uh uh opportunity to attack keep going and, and like you said being shot with the, in the preparation of the gospel like hey like we say to you Christians all this all the time you're not prepared you're not in defense of the gospel you're supposed to be in defense for the for the wisdom and knowledge of your how about shot you're supposed to stand for this you're supposed to have your your loins girded with truth to stand standing up for righteousness sake why do we do this? Because the Lord told us to do it. It is righteous. This is this is our righteousness in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But the, these the, the, the Christians, you don't have that. You don't you don't have you just you just want us to be in slavery again. You're really racist. At the end of the at the end of the day, a majority of you Christians are really just racist. You're, you're, you're just fucking demonic creatures. Keep going. All right, this verse seventeen. It says. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of power. Yep. And, and the helmet of salvation. Have that on your mind. Salvation. Having having that mindset of salvation and that the kingdom of heaven is about to be established will will keep you from doing some dumb shit. Keep from losing your mind, from your woman about to leave your ass. Losing your mind about a... a, a she taking the kids, losing your mind about a, a, a job, taking on that that mindset of of salvation is right at the door. It changes everything. You got something to say, yeah, bro? Go you ahead. know, I was listening to this brother's video. I forgot what I think it's the elder brother. I forgot I was watching it earlier. He was like, if the, if your woman leaves and take the kids, she doing you a favor. Man. Yeah, that's elder Manasseh. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah he, she doing you a favor, man. You know what I'm saying? Just in the uh, you know, ultimately it's the Lord getting that distraction out of your way, man. You know what I'm saying? Certain things the Lord happen. You know what I'm saying? To have you, uh, have you have a wake up call, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To have you remember what you're a part of. You know, you know. Uh, uh, scripture say, uh, birth of prayer is remember thy first love, man. You know, this truth come first. You know, everything after, man. And even then, you got to limit what you put in your life, man. You know what I'm saying? It might not be good for you. You know, like the brother just said, women. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the main thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the brother said, man, uh, make sure you have a study schedule, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay, so what, what, what should we we should be worried about just this, this, this truth, man. You know, the times we're coming in, yeah, you're going to do your little, uh, you know, side things. You know, brothers do side things, but your main focus it's, it's the truth, man. It's salvation, man. Uh, scriptures say, "Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man." And that's what you're you know? supposed to be doing. That's what we're yeah. supposed to be doing: or working out our salvation, having having salvation on the mind, yeah. and knowing that no matter that, it really is counting everything all done at this point in time. You know, you take care of your family and shit like that. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, that just like the story of Job, it can all be taken away. Yeah. You can grab that Romans nine now. Romans 9 And then the sword of course is the scriptures mm -hmm. Being being ready With that sword man Being ready nine with the sword you said nine, 9 and 13, 13. Yep. Okay this Romans 9 and verse 13 says as it is written It is written Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated I'm sorry not 13 oh. Romans uh Where is it 3 and 15 I'm sorry 3 and 15, three and 15. Romans 3 and verse 15. Is that it? No, uh, no, 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 that's not it. Uh, what, which one? What is it? Where it says, now it's our salvation near to. Oh, near to we believe. Oh, okay, yeah, I got you, bro. 17. 17. Somebody 12. grab it right now. It's Romans. It's, uh, yeah, because 
know, like our salvation man is right around the corner, man. You know, and this is the worst time to be caught up in some bullshit. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This Romans thirteen and eleven. All right. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to it. Romans thirteen and verse eleven. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. So I can help. This is it. This Romans thirteen and eleven says, "In that knowing the time." That now it is it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Keep read the next verse. Okay, it says that um, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let and, and let us put on the armor of light. Yep, going back to that armor, yep. being prepared for for the times that were coming coming in. That's why it says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. What is the day? The time of Yahweh Shai's return. So being prepared for that. We want to be prepared and stay and stay in focus until Yahweh Shai gets here. Until he gets here, man. We have to stay focused and and and, and stay on stay on track to the best of our ability. Because Yahweh Shai is 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 right at the door, man. We're we're seeing we're living in the system that's about to be unleashed on the world that was prophesied thousands of years ago. We're living in that. We're living in what John saw. He seen Starbucks motherfuckers buying shit with a chip in their hand. People catching a cancer from it. He seen all that, man. I'm not saying the Starbucks point, but the point is, John seen this system that we're living in. John seen all that and show and if. We're living in it. How much more should we be preparing ourselves and our minds for the time that's about to happen? For the for the great press that's about to be upon those that fear Yahweh by Shemuel Shad. Just like uh, Elder Apostle uh, Gabar said a while ago, if the Lord's not with you during these times, you're fucked. You're fucked, man. I'm fucked. <laughs> you're you're, fu you're a big time fucked. If the Heavenly Father. Is not with you in your steps as we enter in this time. You are fucked. There's no not taking the chip. There's no mm -hmm. I'ma stand strong. If the Lord not with you, nice. you fucked, nigga. You gonna take the chip. Mm -hmm. That's why we say, Lord will it, man. I ain't trying to take that motherfucker. That hour of temptation, man. Yeah, that's that. That's the times that we're coming in. We're gonna need divine intervention for the Heavenly Father put His Spirit upon us so we don't. Do it. Oh, that's the next one. So we don't do that shit, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you continue in repetition, continue practicing, re rehearsing a righteous act, so those things become repetitive in our mind. And and reading those examples of our forefathers and seeing those seeing those things in our head, having that vision that look, the heavenly Father protected our forefathers. He's gonna do the same for me. I just gotta keep on. Pushing through, and that's and that is that is the mindset we have to come in as as we come into these times. It's a great mindset to have. You got something? Yeah. Go ahead. Got a couple of them. It's um, yeah. First John two and fifteen. It says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love love of the Father is not in him." So, man, like the brother was speaking on, man, you know we can't. Fuck, fuck this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, we just living this shit. We living in this world, man. We got to. You know what I'm saying? But while we here, you know what I'm saying? We got to, like, rehearse the righteous acts. You know what I'm saying? Stay out the way. Not get in trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, keep our, uh, examine ourselves every day, man. You know? So, the, this temporary shit, man, we want salvation, man. We don't care about none of this temporary stuff, man. At all. All right, we don't, it, it's, it's not on our mind. What's on our mind is salvation, man. You know, like the brother said, we're going to need the, the Lord in that day, man. You know, the scriptures say we're in prayer for us. Even if a uh, head angel had to come help us, man. You know, it's going to be that bad, man. You know, how much more for these people that don't know the truth, don't know it at all, man. That's what Peter you says. Know? Our forefather Peter, the apostle Peter said, if the righteous scares to be saved, mm -hmm. where, where shall it be? For those that are un ungodly, right. roughly paraphrasing. Get uh first Peter's five and seven real quick. Right. I'm about to close off. All right. I got you. This first Peter five and verse seven it says 
it said uh, casting all of your care upon start at uh, five. Oh, five. All right, this is first Peter five and five. It says, likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Yeah, yeah. All of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humanity, humility, for, humility, for um, for a higher resistance the proud and give of grace to the humble. Yeah. It says, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh that he may exalt you in due time. And that's and that's uh that's a part of his walk also. Yeah. That you, sometimes for for your salvation's sake, a brother may tell you tell you something that you might not like. Mm -hmm. And that's where that's where it comes in with that scripture, submit yourself unto the elders. And submit yourself unto the Lord, unto the Lord, because sometimes in this faith, you're gonna hear certain things that you're not gonna like. It's gonna bother your flesh. It's gonna it's gonna make you upset. It's gonna make you queasy inside. But it's better for you to take heed and then to not, because it's 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 from your how about you Lord speak to brothers to you when I send the Lord. The Lord can't, you know, physically come tell you, you know. You know, when the Lord come back, it's all, it's game time. And ain't no, it's, no, it's all the talking. We, the, the Lord's uh, talking through his prophets now, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and your brother, you have a brother tell you something, yeah, like, you might not like it, but it's coming from the Lord, man. Yeah. You can't say, oh, his brother, man. No, no, man, you can't do that, man. The Lord is talking to you, you know. That's that chastisement, man. Yeah, that's, that's, right? that's what some, and that, that goes into the, to the mindset of salvation also. Because when you do that, you keep in mind that, look, this is going to lead to salvation. Mm -hmm. You see the end goal. The reason a lot of times these women leave, it's just a quick example, is because the, maybe a man gets on them on certain mm -hmm. certain things mm -hmm. and they just can't take it no more. Yep. And they don't see the end result. They don't see the end goal. So they just bounce and go fuck with another nigga. Yep. Because he, he's, he's easy on her or lighter, whatever the fuck it is. But you wanna you wanna do that, man. If a brother tell you something, that keep that in mind that it's from you. How about you, man? I'm shy. Go get that next verse, and then we we'll close off. That was kind of detour, but yeah, it's all right. Yeah, uh, this is this is verse eight. It says, "Oh no, this is seven. It says, uh, casting all your care upon Him, for He cared for you." It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil." As a roaring lion walketh about seeking who he may be may devour, whom resisteth steadfast in the faith, knowing the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Yep, so Satan is out here. Satan is then making a full circle back to the start of his lesson. Satan is out here. As we get closer and closer, these demons are gonna come harder. They're gonna they gonna tempt you with shit. They're gonna say certain things in your ear. That that that, yep. that nigga ain't thoughts, right. That, <laughs> that brother just don't like you. He mm -hmm. jealous of you, or 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 fuck it, bro. She she she, she ain't got no man mm -hmm. like that. She ain't got just fuck it. It don't matter. Right. Or or even or, or take that job opportunity, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck the camp. Right. I'm I'm serious, man. Right. You get demonic. There's demonic entities out here, and they right. talk hella shit. The motherfuckers mm -hmm. don't care. They don't sleep. They don't eat. That's all they was made to do. But that's why it says resist steadfast in the faith. And that know that you look, the brothers, you're not the only one going through this. You're not even how Shah went through that. So keep on keep on fighting and keep on going in this walk in this truth. Because the end result is glory, man. The end result is 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 glory. Of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. So continue on in this fight. And as it gets tougher and tougher, draw draw nigh unto Yahweh by Shemal Shai into the brotherhood where, where Yahweh by Shemal Shai dwells. Don't forget about that. Yahweh by Shemal Shai is amongst the brothers. His spirit is there. What did, what did Yahweh Shai say? When two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Keep that, keep that in mind. Always keep that in mind. But that, that was something real quick. Um, Lord, was edifying. Hey, 
be be prepared for more temptation and more trials because we're we're entering the times where the Lord is going to prove it's going to prove us man our works are going to be uh our works are going to be uh tested the Lord's going to test our metal but if we continue in this work we're going to come out refined and as gold before you how about Shemel shot and it's going to be of his will anyways he he going to want us to be that way but those tests and those trials is to build us up so with that we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Rakakodash the water Yahweh Bashem El Shai for giving us his truth as worms the bonus our apostle and others that great millstone and salutation and blessings to the overlook that shalom, shalom.